There are many different educational opportunities for children in the upstate that's happening today. There's an event being held to feature possible pathways for your child. Our 7 News is Christine Scarpelli. She joins us this morning live in Greenville with the latest. Good morning to you. Morning. Hey, this is huge for parents that might not know about some of these extra schools, 75 plus different schools are going to be represented tonight. This education preview is going to be held at the Hyatt downtown Greenville. Plenty to see. Guys, we just heard from a school from Vermont. What a neat opportunity. Now we've got Mary here. Christchurch School, she's representing, is in Virginia. Good yes. morning. Good morning. Learning about a couple of the pros. Maybe there's cons. This morning, maybe we can talk about some of the good things, the things yeah. that kids would benefit for from going to high school out of town. Yes. It's a big step for many parents. Why should they take it with you? It is. Um, I think one of the big things is really helping their students. Um, you don't really learn until you really step out of your comfort zone. Sure. So um, finding a place where you can find community um, but also all the different unique um, education opportunities. And you've that got tons of them, right? Yes, Give me some yes. different ones that you guys offer. Um, so we have a place-based curriculum um, where the students oh, use the Rappahannock River that we live on beautiful. as a teaching tool. So classes um, like outdoor. Yes, we do immersion trips, which are featured here. The kids actually take passports. They're three-day overnight um, trips with their entire grade to wow. learn about the local community. Wow. Um, so they interview people in the local towns um, and really get to know their local place. We have a global education program where students um, are able to go abroad to Senegal, India, Guatemala, and Spain. In high school, guys, yeah. this is even before college. There are some gap year opportunities as well. And again, more than 75 schools to learn about. Some of them close, some of them not so close. We'll hear more from Mary tonight mm -hmm. from 4 to 7 right here at the Hyatt <laughs> Regency in Greenville. Let's take a live look outside now. This is downtown Greenville, just outside of where we are this morning. Hey, thanks for waking up for us on 7 News.